Hey everybody, we are here at the end of 2016, ready for 2017. It's been a rough year. Lots of good comics this week. They did not give us a short week, so let's get into it. First things first, starting in January, everything is back to normal. We've got our live model back. We've got live comedy at the end of the month. We've got music on the horizon. There's all kinds of things. So book club, uh, don't forget there's a podcast, Cracking the Vault, you can find every week. Uh, so check that out, crackingthevaultpodcast.com. And uh, let's get into the books because it's huge. Normally they give us a small week at the end, but this year they did not bother. So top three this week. A lot of people are not excited about this. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Shulky in a non-comedy role. I know that sounds like sacrilege, but uh, I'm looking forward to what they're going to do with her. So She-Hulk has a number one this week. We're wrapping this up. we got a couple more issues. Almost there. Azarello has been doing a great job. It really feels like Frank Miller is the framework. Azarello is the guy who's putting it together. And Snyder and Lemire. This was not a quick read. We've still got more number ones on the shelf. Felt more like a Lemire book than a Snyder book. But I'm really looking forward to cracking the second one. And uh, like I said, huge week, guys. I didn't even grab everything. This is just the stuff I'm going to read. We've got Neil Adams, uh, but Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor are writing it, so don't worry. Doing the art for the Harlequin, All-Star Batman and Robin. It's a big week, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, we've got this back. Uh, our favorite Batman Beyond is back in the suit. Action Comics, has, they've been doing a good job with the pre-Superman, uh, pre-52 Superman in the new 52 universe. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Albuquerque's artwork is beautiful on that. It's been a great run. Still my favorite book over at the DC Universe. Mother Panic, although the Young Animals line has been great, guys. Shade the Changing Girl, Doom Patrol, Mother Panic. There's one more. I'm, Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye. Great job uh, over on there. Over on Marvel, they're in full swing with the Inhumans versus the X-Men. It's finally crossing over into the other books. Number zero and number one are on the shelf. It leads directly out of Death of X, which ended, there was only four issues, so we've got all of those if you need them. Infamous Iron Man, Bendis continues here, and over on Invincible Iron Man with Riri. Still enjoying this, it doesn't get old. Aaron is doing a great job. Aaron also is doing Unworthy Thor, if you want traditional Thor. Uncanny Avengers, probably the most underrated Avengers title out there. Spider-Man, looks like his dad's going to find out. In fact, Spider-Man's issue last month ruined the end of Civil War, or at least an important piece of Civil War. I won't tell you because Civil War is coming this week along with a Rocket Raccoon number one. Right before Free Comic Book Day, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is coming out. Hopefully you guys will join us. We'll be at the New Century. It'll be that Thursday night, the earliest showing non-3D. So as soon as we know there's tickets, I'll let you guys know you can join us. Civil War, this is it. It's over, finally. So we can start fresh in 2017. And the man that nobody seems to be talking about, who is pulling the strings behind everything, manipulating Captain Marvel, is Steve Rogers. Star Wars, I hope you guys saw Rogue One. Fantastic movie. Unfortunately, you guys probably already heard the news. Carrie Fisher passed today. Really sad day for Star Wars fans. Hopefully in the movies, they will just augment the, the story. Have her have her pass normally. Don't, uh, don't CGI her. We just, uh, she had her time. Seven to Eternity. Remender's been doing a good job there. Serenity, we don't need to talk much about that. Saga, I believe this is the one before we go. No, I think we have one more before they go on hiatus for a little while. Nobody cares about this but me and a couple George Perez fans, but I'm collecting them all. This is number six, six of six. I can now read them. I knew it was going to take three years to come out, so I didn't even bother. We're going to save the best for last. Aliens vs. Predator starts a new run. And didn't make it into the top three just because there were some really special books this week, but it's an honorable mention, so we saved it for last. East of West, thank you very much, Hickman. Uh, you are the light of my life. You've made 2016 memorable. I love you. 